First off, great job and congratulations on being the lead on a feature film. How does it all feel? Feels amazing. Are you kidding me? Anytime you get to uh, not only be in a movie, but be in an action flick where you get to play with guns and explosions and have amazing fight scenes, that's what it's all about. It's like being a kid in a candy store. How fun was it to play with all those guns, and which one was your favorite? Oh, my God. I, I, I played with so many. I mean, I, like, literally, I, during the scenes, I would pick up and drop guns, like, left and right. So, you know, I always like the Glock just because it's, like, you know, it's small, it's compact, it's ready to go. And uh, I just had a blast with everything. And you must have done your own stunts, right? Listen, I'm a WWE superstar. Physicality is the name of the game, and that's exactly what you do. On the second day, we had our longest fight scene. And during this fight scene, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm like getting ready. I'm pumped up. I'm amped. I'm ready. And the first thing is the guy kicks through the door, and uh, I'm supposed to hit it with my toe, but it's supposed to look like it hits me in the head. I'm ready for it. I'm amped. Getting ready. The guy kicks through the door, hits my toe. I swear to you, I've never felt pain before in my entire life like this. I'm a WWE superstar. I've been hit with kendo sticks, chairs, been thrown through ladders. I've broken my nose. I've broken my ankle. I've never felt pain like when I stubbed my toe in the Marine 3 home front on the second day in the first scene, in the first scene of the day. And I had to go through, but I went through the whole fight scene and no problem. Took off my sock. There's my toenail just sitting there. Yes. Toenail's gone. No. So I sacrificed my toenail for the Marine 3 home front. And speaking of wrestling, you started off on MTV's The Real World, and then you became huge in the wrestling arena, and then you had small parts in movies that you played yourself. Now you're playing a character. Did you have to do anything different, or how did you prepare for the role? It's amazing. I mean, well, in WWE, I'm The Miz. I'm yeah. the most cocky, arrogant, egotistical person I could possibly think of, which is the exact opposite of Jay Carter. I mean, my entire time in WWE, I've always played uh, the villain. I've never considered myself the villain, but everybody has booed me out of the building for the past seven years, so I guess I'm the bad guy. But uh, going into playing Jay Carter, you know, getting ready for this, this film, uh, Scott Wiper, the director, sent me a bunch of... Uh, a bunch of uh, old school films to uh, kind of get me in, in that mode, which were like the good, the bad, the ugly, Clint Eastwood. I mean, you watch his films, and he doesn't say much, but his aura, his, you can see the star power come out. Uh, and then you go into like Cool Hand Luke with Paul Newman, who just is so cool and relaxed and, and very natural. And then you go into the Die Hard with Bruce Willis and just his selling ability. It's just... It's incredible. So I put all those three and combined them to try to form, you know, Jake Carter. My favorite part was the first scene when I saw the real you. You were a human being and not the Miz. That's, that's exactly kind of what I was going for. When people watch the Marine 3 home front, they're not going to see Mike from the real world. They're not going to see the Miz. They're going to see a whole new character that I've created, which is Jake Carter. And I wanted him to be real. And, you know, Scott Wiper was, you know, very hands-on and very, you know, we, we talked days in and days out about this character and how we wanted to play it. And we really wanted him to, people to watch and go, I know a guy like that. He, he seems so cool and collected. But we didn't want The Miz to be even be seen. As soon as you see me in the, in, the, in the screen, you might go, oh, that's The Miz. But as soon as you hear me talk and walk, you forget about The Miz and you get it wrapped up in the story that is with Jay Carter. So what's coming up next for you? What's next for me? Uh, WrestleMania 29 at MetLife Stadium. Uh, it's going to be an incredible, incredible event. It's the event WWE superstars look forward to as well as WWE fans and fans around the world because, you know, WrestleMania is like the Super Bowl, the NBA Finals, the World Series, only bigger. And uh, I just can't wait for that. I mean, you got The Rock versus John Cena for the WWE Championship, as well as I will be doing something. And whatever it I do on WrestleMania, the thing people will be talking about the next day is what I did. Not what The Rock did, not what Cena did, what The Miz did. <laughs> and not only that, but uh, with uh, doing this movie, The Marine 3 Home Front, I got another movie with ABC Family called uh, Christmas Bounty, which comes out in Christmas. So I'm excited about uh, filming that. Are you going to be a softie in that movie, too? We'll see, won't we? <laughs>
Can't Who wait. knows what characters I'll pull, I'll pull out. I know. Well, congratulations again and great job. Thank you very much. So March 5th, get the Blu-ray, DVD, Marine Home Front. Yes, everyone, go buy the DVD. Vâng, The Marine 3 Home Front với uh, vừa rồi là cuộc nói chuyện đặc biệt của Christine Anker với The Miss. Cuốn phim này cũng do WWE Studios và 20th Century Fox Home Entertainment thực hiện. Và chắc chắn cuốn phim này là đầy action thưa quý vị từ đầu cho đến cuối. Và sẽ đến đây thì chúng tôi xin trân trọng kính chào tạm biệt tất cả quý vị khán giả. Cảm ơn quý vị rất là nhiều đã theo dõi chương trình ngày hôm nay. Và xin kính chúc tất cả quý vị có một ngày thật là hạnh phúc và bình an.